Welcome to the Labyrinth at First United Methodist Church in Hendersonville, North Carolina. We are going to give a short presentation on what a labyrinth is, the history of the labyrinth, and most importantly, how to walk one. What is a labyrinth? A labyrinth is a spiritual tool for prayer and meditation involving the walking or experiencing of a designed path which leads to a center and back out again. The path is symbolic of our journey towards God's illumination and then back out to life and service in the world. Labyrinths are metaphors to our lives. Often we see life as a crazy maze with twists and turns, or we see a path of our life as a series of forked roads with decisions that we have to make at every turn. A labyrinth offers a single path where we are called to trust the process one step at a time in the presence of God. One does not need to decide on direction in a labyrinth but only needs to answer the question, will you enter? Will you enter with an open mind and an open heart? Labyrinth walking is the practice of presence. It is time to intentionally be present with yourself and with God. Labyrinths are places of prayer. Here's a short history of labyrinths. Labyrinths are places from the ancient of days where prayer was experienced in many different religious traditions. The oldest documentation of labyrinths is from Greece in 1200 BC. Labyrinths are found all around the world on all continents and cultures. We can walk labyrinths found not only at churches and retreat centers, but in fields, in gardens, deep in the forest, painted in parking lots, and even on hospital lobby floors. And there are many patterns of labyrinths they come in different sizes and are made of a multitude of materials. Stone, grass, wood, concrete, earthen paths, sand, snow, rocks and bricks, canvas, and that's just to name a few. The earliest known permanent church labyrinth was a mosaic placed in the church floor in Algiers, North Africa in the year 324 AD. And the most famous labyrinth is the one in the floor at Chartres Cathedral in France, placed there in 1200 AD. And they haven't stopped. There are over a hundred thousand labyrinths still on all parts of the world. And now what you're really interested in is how to walk a labyrinth. There are many ways to walk one. In fact, they are as unique as each person who comes to walk. There is no right or wrong way to experience a labyrinth. The opportunity is also open to your own creative response to the experience. But if this is your first time hearing about a labyrinth, or you're about to walk it, let me give you a few suggested steps for your first walk. When you arrive at the labyrinth, pause at the opening and pray for awareness of God's presence. You are a 
about to pray, and God will be with you. Then begin to walk intentionally in prayer, following the path before you. Be aware of your rhythms, your breath, your steps, your pace, even how you move. And as you're walking inward, empty yourself, relax, and release your concerns. Be with God. And as you reach the center, stay a while. Pause. Pray. Listen. Be. And when you are ready, turn and walk out the way you walked in, following the path before you again, one step at a time. You've walked in, and now you're walking out, back to your everyday life and presence with God. Most importantly, as you end, be thankful for God's presence in your life and in this world. Let me close with a few quotes on labyrinths. On the labyrinth, as in life, there are no wrong turnings, only paths we had not known that we were meant to walk. T.S. Eliot said, we shall not cease from exploration, and in the end of all our exploring, we'll arrive where we started and know that place for the first time. And Psalm 1611, you show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. Amen. <laughs>